Welcome back my gardening friends. Well the uh, onion leaf miner has got me again. This allotment site has really got it bad and realistically you're not supposed to grow onions in the same place again for about eight years. So I've tried the cloth containers and as you can see uh, they've, they've gone. Uh, you can see the remnants uh, of the grub, uh, what he's eaten and uh, if I get a chance in a moment I'll see if we can find it and what I have been told to do is to cut them off so on another pot I'll bring this one over shortly we'll cut them off and see what we uh, see if we can actually see any trace of the grub actually gone down into the main shaft of the leak so again this one on the left looks better than one on the right but we'll start with the one on the uh, right first so the idea is cut them off and they reshoot now that's uh, beyond help I think and just take some of the uh, foliage air I'll put it straight into my tub so that nothing falls off so we're just going to uh, slice it off and it doesn't look like the grubs decided to go down at the moment so we'll just snip all these off they're no good for nothing everyone is contaminated again I can't see nothing there maybe on the uh, this one's quite bad. Yeah, there's a little little hole there. So let's just take that's uh, better. So hopefully I've trapped the gr grub in there. We'll never know. But yeah, you can just see. the trace marks oh there he is come on so there it is it was almost down to the uh, the shaft and if that drops on the floor it'll sit there for eight years until it can smell and leaks again so realistically we've got that one and the rest are uh, in uh, my container i'll bring the other one over these are looking a lot uh, more healthier if you can call it healthier but realistically you'd just throw these now that one doesn't look like it's been touched but there's just just markings we've got a nice long winter so everyone's uh, coming off just check that there's no holes by the look of it it does look like you can actually see them I've got to be careful I don't want to drop the grub on the floor I'm going to take more off that one there good clean leak just to be sure we'll just open it up i'm reasonably happy with that let's get the worst one out of all of them now i can imagine that some of these now they've actually gone down the shaft cut them off at the same place that one looks okay so there's that one and this one's the one that looks a bit dodgy doesn't look too bad So 
see it's got it's got down to there we'll just go one more no we're safe don't like that one at all I'm going to cut that off right below soil level nice and clean all the way around I'm happy give these uh, another water in even though we've had some rain I'm cutting that one off right below again some of them the weaker ones have suffered the most so I'm going to just finish the ones off on this plot I've got six here and it looks like I've salvaged most of those then we'll go and have a look at the ones that were in the cage now I'm just preparing this bed uh, for the garlic and this year's onions as you say we're in a bit of a state but I don't really want to move these so I'm going to cut them off but as you can see some of these they've uh, really been through the wars we'll do that one first I know this is a little bit of a long video guys but if we can all learn something from this and if these onions do come back so they're really poor but the grub has only got this far that's unbelievable really so maybe we can salvage them Let's say minimal disturbance you can see where they've been working But once it gets there, once it decides to go down the shaft of the leak into the ground, that's where it'll stay until it um, smells another leak uh, in a few years' time. So we may be able to salvage there. That one's very poor, I'll cut that off right down below. If it comes back, it comes back. Again with that one but I'm checking each of these to make sure it hasn't actually travelled down we may have more than what I thought and that's what we're looking for a nice clean bit right I'm going to finish these off now unfortunately a lot of these were more contaminated than I thought so I've actually just cut them off underneath the ground and just put them straight in the uh, container because like all creatures if they feel threatened they'll wriggle and jump off so that container now is going straight home without fail and you probably think that's white fly in here as I've already made some comments they're even they're even living on the uh, the weeds oh my goodness unbelievable so basically to sum it up uh, we know we've got the onion leaf miner with the amount of damage and everything else we've seen the grubs we've cut it off we've uh, double checked that the grub hasn't traveled down including down the middle which I did find one so he uh, came straight out and I was recommended a couple of years ago to cut the leeks off and let them regrow so yeah follow this one guys subscribe if you haven't already done so like share and we'll see where this one goes in the uh, air pot cloth containers happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to Ralph and Ed. Come on, my little leeks. Come on, grow. Come on, grow. <laughs>